Now it's time for our science and technology series, Tech It Out, a bi-weekly segment in Global Watch to keep you up to date with the latest high tech and innovation in China. In this edition of Tech It Out, a monster black hole that shouldn't exist. Shark teeth corrode due to climate change and the world's oldest forest discovered in the quarry. Black holes are mysterious, with their ability to warp space and terminate time. We can't get anything from it. Nothing escapes that horizon, not even light. They sound like science fictions rather than facts, but there's no doubt that they exist. But many questions remain about them, ranging from their mass to how they are formed. And surprises just keep coming. Seventy times. That is twice as big as the current theory can explain, and it once again proves how little we know about our universe. Looking up at the night sky, all those stars, just like the sun, are giant nuclear fusion reactors, which pump the energy outward, carefully keeping the balance by counteracting the star's gravity that crushes inward. But when a star runs out of fuel, balance is broken and gravity wins. The star collapses upon itself, creating a supernova, the biggest explosion that humans have ever seen. If there is enough mass left behind, they will be crushed by the gravity altogether until there is nowhere to go but a point of infinite density, forming a black hole. Even so, black holes have been found through their interactions with their surroundings. Many black holes have a companion star or are immersed in a cloud of gas. In both cases, the black hole can pull gas or even entire stars down into it. As the material falls into the hull, it hits up and emits X-rays. We used the X-ray test. However, if a black hole isn't feeding on its surroundings, finding it is much harder. So black hole hunters need to change another way. They can observe a visible star for signs of orbital movement and further confirm if a black hole hides there. They call it the radial velocity method. It sounds simple, but it isn't easy. It's just like looking for a needle in a haystack until the astronomers built the most. Stars are composed of different chemical elements, mainly with hydrogen and helium. Astronomers call other heavier elements metal and use metallicity to describe their abundance. Different elements emit different colors of light when they burn. With a spectrum of starlight observed by Lamost, scientists can access many information, such as velocity, about any shining star. Weak light from stars will first reach the mirror in the dome. The light is reflected 
through this tunnel, then on to this larger primary mirror. Reflected again, the light is eventually imaged on a focal surface, which is connected with 4,000 optical fibers. This special design allows La Most to observe 4,000 stars at any one time. The next best telescope can observe just 640 stars. 但是有拉莫斯的这种呢，因为它有四千个眼睛，它一次可以看四千个天体，就相当于大大的提高了它的观测效率。With the advanced features of an instrument like La Most, the painstaking job of looking up at the same area of night sky with its patch of the same stars is made a bit easier, since one little abnormal move is enough to get the astronomer's attention. That move comes from a star, which astronomers called a B star. 那是二零一六年的冬天，当时选了双子座附近的一颗一一个天区，因为我们想从里面找一些双星出来，就发现，呃，有一颗很奇怪，它有 B 型星的光谱，因为这个呃质量很大，因为我们观测了有二十七次，然后这二十七次呢，它的速度有一个很规律的正旋的变化，这说明它围它它在围绕着一个东西在动，它围绕的那个东西我们是看不见的。With the help of La Most. Calculations show that this thing is as massive as 70 suns. Astronomers ruled out a companion star, as a star of that mass would have been readily visible. Just one possibility remained. When we calculated it was 70, we couldn't believe it. Yes, we found one that was from the United States Kepler telescope. It's a 10-meter telescope. The wavelength is about 100,000. Then we found another one from the Spanish telescope, which was 1,500,000. 叫加纳利的望远镜，然后用他们也进行了有十几次观测吧，就是用他们的光谱计算出来的摄像速度跟拉莫斯的计算出来的摄像速度，那个趋势非常一致，就说明我们没有这个错误。你不相信他也没有办法。They concluded that their discovery, which they named LB1, is a black hole with nearly 70 solar masses. Well, let me clarify this. There are many black holes that could be heavier than that. For example, scientists have found evidence that at the center of most galaxies, there are what have been called supermassive black holes. But for LB1, which is a stellar mass black hole, 70 solar masses mean it is a monster. Because scientists believe that a star with a metallicity similar to our sun, like what formed LB1, should not create a black hole more than 25 solar masses. 黑洞的质量与超新星爆炸也就是有很大的关系。它爆炸的时候呢，这样一个呃爆发呢，都会抛出去很很多的这样一个质量出去。这样一个金属风度它呃越高，那么它的星风就越强。星风越强呢，就吹出去的物质就会越多，然后剩余的质量就会越小。那么到最后形成的黑洞就会越小。我们画一个图啊、呃，如果是太阳金属风度的话，你会发现在一开始前身星质量越大，黑洞质量就越大。但是到最后呢，它会慢慢的变平，也就是说，你的前行星的质量不管变多大，我的黑洞质量就那么大了。Unfortunately, we still have no idea how such a massive black hole could be formed. The most exciting possibility is that LB1 might actually consist of two black holes orbiting each other instead of just one. If that is the case, this would be the first report of a binary black hole. 人类探索宇宙，它其实是一步一步由我们从近邻然后推出去的。那么我们这么多年的这个天文学研究来说，研究最深透的就是我们的恒星。我们一直认为我们的恒星理论已经非常完善了，但是呢，到现在这样看，我们远远没有达到这种状况。其实这次研究呢，最重要的就是帮我们实现了这种用用速度监测的方法来发现黑洞这样一个方法。那么有了这样的方法以后，我们可以在未来的几年之内对其他的四个天区进行一系列的重复观测，那样可以从里面发现一批深藏不露的黑洞。Coming up next, let's check out the science news that make up the headlines in the past two weeks. Welcome to Science Saturday. I'm Li Qiuyuan. Today we'll look at science news ranging from Boeing space mission to the world's oldest fossil forest. Boeing's Starliner spacecraft has just returned to Earth from an unsuccessful mission. The unmanned ship launched last Sunday in the U.S. state of Florida was on a mission to the International Space Station. 
when it encountered an unexpected automation error and failed to reach the correct orbit. Now, the mission's failure is another setback for Boeing, who's been reeling from fatal crashes of its 737 MAX airliner. China has sent two more of its self-made Beidou navigation satellites into space. The 52nd and 53rd of the Beidou satellites were launched on a Long March 3B carrier rocket last Monday at the Xichang Satellite Launch Center in southwest China. It marks the completion of the core satellite constellation of the Beidou 3 system. And climate change is threatening the world's most formidable marine predators. A recent study based on a sample of three puff adder sharks has found the rise of ocean acidity may corrode sharks' teeth and scales and could further compromise the animal's ability to swim, hunt, and feed. Now, the study warns this outcome could cause disruptions in the entire oceanic food chain. And scientists have found the world's oldest known fossil forest in a sandstone quarry in New York. The forest, located in the town of Cairo, dates back to about 385 million years ago, 150 million years before dinosaurs walked the Earth. Researchers say the discovery can offer insights into how trees transform the planet and the link between forests and climate change. Well, that's it for today and also this year. Since October, Tech It Out has been a gateway every two weeks to science and innovation in China. That is a fact in the world. We hope you'll like this show. If you want to rewatch our today's edition or any stories in the previous shows, you can find our homepage at CGTN.com or CGTN's other social media platforms. This is Tech It Out. I'm Yang Zhao. I'll see you again in 2020.